Welcome to my channel, friends. In this video, we will talk about 1976 Italian film Down and Dirty, which is the story of a man named Giacinto, who lives in a slum area in Rome with his family of four generations, and who fights with his family for money all the time. So without wasting the time, let's the explanation begin. A family lives in a small slum area in Rome, in which four generations live together in one room. The biggest man in that family is Giacinto, who always keeps his gun with him because his sons try to steal his money. There is no privacy in that house, no cleanliness, and everyone curses each other all the time, and all those people fight with each other. The area in which they live is full of goons, and people live their lives in filth. Giacinto has received a lot of money from the insurance company after losing his eyes, but he does not share that money with his family, and even if the children ask him for money, they do not get anything. The people of Giacinto's house earn money by doing different jobs, whether they are good or bad. The girl living in that village, Tomasina, earns money by modeling, but she models for adult magazines. Giacinto's granddaughter, Maria, earns money by working as a maid, and when she told Tomasina that her job is better than modeling because she is never asked to live without clothes, Tomasina said that her job is better than being a maid. But Maria will not understand this. Giacinto is greedy, but he also teases other women, and he does not even feel ashamed to do so. Every member of his family hates Giacinto, whether it is the child of that house or the mother of Giacinto. He also beats his wife, and he does not care about this. One day his son came to ask him for some money for his work and said that he is the only one who loves him in that house and the rest of the people just want to steal his money. When Giacinto said that it would be better if he did not love him, then his son lost his temper and there was a fight between the two. As soon as Giacinto gets a chance, he changes the place to hide his money and to hide money from his mother's eyes, he covers her head with a cloth every day. But until today, his mother did not know that Giacinto does this. His second son sells stolen goods, but until today he has not learned to take the right price, and after making a loss he comes back home. His youngest son Nando works as a prostitute, and such work also insults him. Giacinto also makes fun of him, but he does not care about it. Despite being a millionaire, Giacinto was getting all this work done from his family and was not giving them money. He spends his every day in the addiction of alcohol, and his daughter does not like this at all. That's why she has started wanting to send her father to jail. Somewhere Giacinto knew that if his family gets money, then they will all live the life they want and spend all his money. He also dreams about these things, and that's why he keeps awake all night to keep the money safe. But then one night he found out that his money had disappeared. He started asking every member of his family and started looking for his money like crazy. He also started beating his sons while they kept saying that he did not take the money. But then in anger he shot his son Camilo, and then he was put in jail. And while getting out of jail, his lawyer told him that his entire office was filled with Giacinto's family files and he was tired of saving them. This time he saved Giacinto from jail, but he said that if he came there again, he would not help him. On the other hand, his entire family started looking for money. But even after investigating the whole house, they did not get the money. Giacinto reached home as soon as possible because he remembered that he had hidden the money in the bathroom and he left with the money in front of his family. When this happened, they all beat him up, who said that he had checked the bathroom. After a while, he got the news that it was time to get his grandmother's pension. And without wasting time, they all forcibly took their grandmother to the pension office. And as soon as they got the money, they started fighting for the money. All the brothers distributed the money and told their children to take their grandmother home, after which they went their separate ways. One day, while walking in that area, Giacinto saw a prostitute, and no one comes to her. He fell in love with that girl Isai. He started spending time with Isai and started spending money on her. He told Isai that no one respected him in his house, and he was completely alone. So now Isai was the only importance in his life. That night, he took Isai to his house. And after meeting his wife, he told her that she would live with her from today. Hearing this, his wife got very angry, but Giacinto did not listen to him, and Isid started living in the same house. On one hand, Giacinto started talking about spending money on his side, 
and started calling his family members as servants, and on the other hand, his wife, being sad, started trying to hurt him with the help of magic. As soon as Giacinta went out with his seed, his wife called her entire family to her and started talking about taking revenge from Giacinto. All those people hated Giacinto, so they all made a plan to kill him, and Giacinto's mother was also included in this plan. One by one, every member of the family agreed to kill Giacinto, and now they started preparing to execute their plan. Giacinto took his family to the church because his daughter wanted to get her son baptized. Even in the church, his family did not stop their actions, and on the one hand, when a child was rowing his paper boat in the holy water, on the other hand, Camillo was stealing money from the church. It was time to kill Giacinto, and his wife told her family that after leaving the church, this work will be done. After leaving the church, they went for lunch, and poison was mixed in Giacinto's food. They all waited for him to eat the poison, but something or the other stopped him from eating. Somehow, by removing all the obstacles, Giacinto was finally fed, and now everyone was waiting for his death. They all kept looking at him, and after a while, Giacinto began to feel strange. Then he realized that his family had poisoned him, and he began to see death in front of his eyes. He started trying to control himself, and he said that he would tell the police that his family had tried to poison him and kill him. On the one hand, Aisaid started fighting with his wife, and on the other hand, Giacinto took a cycle and started going to the police, but he fell in the middle of the road. He had eaten the poisoned food, but by vomiting, he took the food out of his stomach, and he survived. That night, he spilled alcohol all over his house, and to kill his family, he burned his house. He was happy to think that he had killed his family, but the whole family managed to escape from the house at the right time. His sons found out that Giacinto was alive, and that's why they started throwing stones at him, but nothing happened to Giacinto. Everyone had come out of the house. Only his grandmother was trapped inside, but somehow she was also saved. Giacinto's sons were now trying to rebuild their burnt house, and in the madness of getting them all out of the house, Giacinto sold his house to a man, and with the money, he started living with his seed. After a while, that man took his entire family to Giacinto's house and told this family that he bought this house and this is his house now. When his family found out about all this and when those new people came to live there, there was a fight among them. In the end, with the money Giacinto got, he bought a car and Giacinto drove that car into that house for which all those people were fighting. They all started trying to save that house and somehow they stopped that house from falling and all those people started living with their family in that broken house. That house now looked even smaller, because along with that new family, Giacinto started living with his side and his family, and Giacinto even now hiding his money in the plaster of his hand. He again kept talking about throwing every member out of the house, but that family was not going to end. But more members were going to come to that family, because Maria, who was the only smart one in that family, was going to give birth to a baby soon. On that note, movie ends. So friends, that's all in today's video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in the next video. Till then, peace out.